we're gonna pick this up and like with most equipment you get to learn how to drive it and it's cool thing about most of these equipment places you can have them put them on if you want but they kind of leave you alone you know you can come out here and just pick up whatever you want to take as long as you want it's kind of nice is it's a it's a good pace change from the the go 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 all the time so we're gonna go ahead and load this up we'll drive it around to where i've got the truck parked here to the ramp uh which is nice they've got a they've got a regular dock ramp and then they've got a low um usually for step decks i'm still a little lower than it but you don't have it doesn't matter on this uh, the tires are so big I and mean, i won't even notice that that dip right there so let's get this loaded up all right so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dump this bucket out because it's got water in it most of these joysticks are typical up down uh with an attachment like that it's usually left to right to uh start moving the bucket so you just kind of figure it out as you go yeah i'll get that water out of there should be good Check this out and see if I'm lined up. All right, should be lined up.
good. Find out. Gonna have to come over. Looks like about a foot. Get that centered up there. Then we'll be good to go. Here's a good tip I missed here. Or I didn't miss it, but that's why I look. Uh, Always want to get your bucket level. See how it's just basically sitting on that point right there? You want it flush. So we'll have to get up there and knock that back down. much better all right so now basically uh, usually any implement with a bucket uh, DLT wants you to either put a strap or a chain over the bucket even if it's attached to it um, so always account for that uh, as far as points on this let's find them all right there's one there one on the other side so it looks like we'll be coming we'll be coming forward with those so we'll come away at the rear too let's go ahead and find the rear uh this way's 13 uh 13 one is what the paperwork said so I'll throw four chains on it strap over the bucket we'll be good to go uh here's our other securement point right there one there one on the other side you can see right there so uh you see these stickers aren't always a guide uh they just show a a crane a lift and a tie down point which are usually the same thing but on this one you can see it's just basically telling you it's it's straight underneath there so that's it let's get it tied down and we'll be good to go all right another thing i was getting ready to chain this up but and this happens a lot that's why i don't know if you saw in my um equipment i keep in my box in the back of the truck uh one of the things in the bucket was a big plastic box of uh cotter pins and you'll see why now because our chain hooks won't, won't our chain hooks won't fit through the hole so we're gonna have to take the we're gonna have so we're gonna have to take the hook off, run the chain through, put the hook back on, and these wear out. These pins wear out really quick when you're bending them back and forth. So it's best to just replace them with a new one. That's why I have a box of extras. So let's take all these off and thread the chains and take the pins out, replace the pins. So. <clears throat> So basically all you're going to do is just unbend these out. Just grab it. Three. This one's trouble with one. It's got a big bend in it. You see, this is the reason you don't want to reuse these. She'll gnarl them up pretty good getting them out. Yeah. This one is in here. There we go. 
Take that. Pop your bolt out. Pop your hook off. We'll take our chain thread through. Now we ain't gonna need that much through, but. You can do this one of two ways. Um, you can put the hook back on, okay, and make a teardrop right here, or you can just run it straight through, pull all your slack out that way, hook your chain up over here, and also hook your uh, binder over here and pull it all as one unit. That way you don't have to put this back on, then take it off when you're at delivery and put it back on again. Save yourself time and cotter pins. All right, so that's one way of doing it. I'm not gonna do it that way because the chains are too long and it's just, there's too much play. I can't get it tight enough without stretching the chain. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in uh, put the hook back on, attach right here. That way we've only got a short bit. Uh, the binder will take up probably half the space. And then we don't have so much tension in the chain. We don't have so much slack. Uh, it's, it's a much shorter span. So let's get all these off and we'll get back to hooking up. all there is to it just finding tie down points and seeing how your chains are gonna line up so of course you didn't want it uh one more pocket over because it would have actually started getting into the tire there so that's it at that never forget your strap or chain across the bucket we're good to go <laughs>